Hello, hello, hello! This is Caleb with Practical Dad's Advice, and today I'm going to be pushing into part two of advanced cartooning. So stick with me. I know it's dry, I know it's tedious, I know it's technical, but it's what you need. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave them much more intense white, uh, even going against the shade. Maybe add a bit of gray just to hint at the uh, change of lighting. But I'm not going to kick myself about it. If this feels a little boring to you, then, well, welcome to reality. It's about practice and trying things and seeing if they work and finding out they don't work and then going back and trying it again. So not all my tutorials will be not all my tutorials are like this and I don't even know if I'll do another one like this, but I really after I did um, one of my more popular videos is the cartooning uh, video. It's second only to the how to make a character look like you which I don't know maybe that proves the the narcissism <laughs> of people but uh, the cartooning video is rather very popular and so I wanted to go in depth on the cartooning on on how to to get really nice cartooning effects and, and go into much more detail on all of that so because that's that's much more what I specialize in actually with the 3D is is making 3D cartoons, which um, can save you a lot of time and energy, especially if you can't draw, then it really saves you a lot of time and energy because it makes it possible. So I'm going to add those textures that I showed you before. See, we're not on. We are at Victoria 6. That just looks strange to me. Okay. Never mind. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna work on her hair. So I'm gonna grab uh, middle top base. His base. That's back there. Okay. Grab that, throw preset on it. do brown or do I want to do black? Let's try brown first. Let's see how I like brown and we'll go from there. That's true. It may not work with the... The one problem with the manga style uh, shaders is they have had problems. I find they have problems with opacity maps. You can do it. You just have to tweak them and work with it and uh, move with it and figure it out. Uh, it may not be worth it to you though. So. Yeah, let's...
I'm gonna take this uh, one pure black or very strong black shader that I've already made and I'm gonna tweak it for my purposes so I think I'm actually just going to make that uh, the skull cap here. I think I'm going to make that invisible. So I'm going to remove the opacity map, and I'm just going to like that. I think that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to make the dark almost black not quite black. I'm gonna make the light a little less black. And I'm gonna do that on the diffuse. I'll make it almost black and a little less black. And then I'm gonna make the outline black. Make the white outline black. And um, this is an important thing with the full color is I want a bit of change in the outline depth, so I'm going to change the start to 0.3 and the end to 0.4, which should give a nice moving line. And we do another spot render. Let's see if I can get away without having that skull cap. Now it looks like I'm going to need the skull cap after all. It's, that's a little too jarring right there. Okay, that's fine. We can do skull cap. Let's go. I'm gonna do the same. And I'm gonna Doesn't seem like I changed much, but I did. Let's see. Put the outlines black and black. And I'm actually going to make the outline very small. Because with the skull cap, I really don't want a thick outline. I want I want fairly small outline. So I want it to be more suggested than seen. Let's see, it still looks less cartoony and more like hair. I don't know, that skull cap might ruin us on this particular hair piece. The the top of the hair looks fine. Let me let me try something. We're gonna, we're going to try some things. See if we can make this work. If not, we're going to switch hair pieces. And we'll do something else. Because the top piece looks fine. It's, maybe if I can move it down. forward. 
moves the hair forward, but that's not really what I'm wanting. I'm wanting. thing we can do. I'm gonna grab that hair and I'm going to actually unfit it. None. And then I'm going to change its parent. Change parent. I'll force it onto her. Instead of having using the auto fit function I'm gonna it onto her head. And I'll have hopefully more control. Usually you work in a T pose. I didn't want to work in a T pose. I actually kind of like not working in a T pose, mostly because, for me at least, what will happen is I'll I'll work in a T pose and it looks fine in a T pose, and then I'll get it out of a T pose and I'll go, oh my god, <laughs> that looks horrible once I move it. That did not turn out as well as I thought. Negative 1.5. That's probably too much. Negative 1.25. There we are. Perfect. I'm changing because this one has a differences in its, uh, it has several different textures on it. Let's see, so I'm changing, I'm changing it up a little bit to add variety to the hair, so it's not quite all the same, which will go a long way in making the hair look more natural because most people's hair is not uniform which is also why I'm not bothering like remembering what I'm putting on each one because it, it will change it I want it to be a little different and that adds some variety variety is the spice of life and all of that so. 